All right, here is a more advanced strumming pattern for the Lilo and Stitch Hawaiian roller coaster ride uh, uke part. I think in the original it's all played on keyboards, um, but uh, there's a part that sounds like a uke at any rate, so I'm going to try to emulate that as best as possible. Um, the pattern's going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down. Up, 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 down. And the real trick here is keeping your hand moving through the entire pattern. So if I slow it down a lot, we're gonna see what we're gonna see what happens here. Down, up, down, up, down, missed, missed. Up, 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 down, miss, miss, miss. Down, up, down, up, down, miss, miss. Up, 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 down, miss, miss, miss. Da, 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 da. All fits into four four with sixteenth notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a down 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 up 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 down. Notice that I keep my hand moving through the entire pattern. It's done full speed, it looks very subtle, but I'm doing it. speed. I don't even think you can really see the hand movements clearly on YouTube, but uh, um, the pattern is uh, just F chords, B flats, and Cs. It's actually a t basically a 12 bar blues pattern. Um, four bars of F, two bars of B flat, two more bars of F, a bar of C, a bar of B flat, and two bars of F. And then there's a bridge, which is a bar of F, two beats of B flat, two beats of F, another full bar of F, two beats of B flat, two beats of F, a bar of C, a bar of B flat, and a bar of F, and a break at the end. So let me play that real quick. Notice that I'm doing some muting on these chords too when I play them uh, when I play them full speed. It's kind of tough for me not to, <laughs> but uh, without any muting, we get the pattern sounding like this. With the muting, we get Is a couple different muting techniques. I'm doing uh, on the F chord. It's easy enough to use my pinky to uh, to lay across the four strings and mute them in between notes. So. Sometimes I'm actually strumming the mutes. That's too complex to go into exactly what I'm doing, and you know I, I change it up from bar to bar uh, slightly as well. But um, on the B flat chord, I'm muting by lifting the chord up. I'm fretting it now. Now I'm lifting it up, but not lifting it off the 
strings. So my fingers are still touching the strings, but off the frets now. So that's a different muting technique that I'm using there by just lifting the fingers up without taking them off the strings. That mutes them as well. And for the C chord, what do I do? It looks like I'm, I'm doing a combination of them. I'm lifting my the, my, the only finger you need for the C chord is the third fret on the A string. So I'm lifting that up, that note up, without lifting it off the string and using my middle finger then to cover the other three strings. So I'm actually doing two different muting techniques to get that C chord muted. And the reason for muting in between is it makes it sound cleaner and tighter. without muting. Not bad. But I think the muted version sounds more professional. Muting like that takes a long time to master, and uh, so start with uh, start without muting it, and try to work the mutes in, and hope that's helpful.